So, where's the lovely Miss Maya this evening? She's uh, attending to my poor feeble father, making sure the heart monitors are properly miscalibrated. Can we get two coffees, please? Thank you. And you're not sitting vigil because? Oh, well, I'll stop by to wring my hands later. I want to make sure that Tracy gets plenty of time at Luke's bedside. What, thank you, what exactly is Luke hoping to accomplish here? Deathbed wedding. <laughs> Followed by, you know, a large influx of marital assets. Mm. Well, Claire Walsh has got to be loving the timing. Okay, you lost me there. Why would that perky prosecutor care about Luke scamming Tracy? I told you, she's running the car bomb investigation. It's only a matter of time before she questions Luke about that errand he sent you on. Night I was almost vaporized. Oh. Talking to law enforcement is rock bottom on Luke's list of priorities, especially when the answers could uh, make things uncomfortable for an old friend. So Luke is going to stonewall on Sonny's behalf. That's exactly right. And you should uh, turn. Oh, I entered into a truce with the guy. Nowhere in there did we agree that I would lie to save his ass. Well, no, don't lie for Sonny. Lie for his kids. <laughs> So, do you at all understand when I say it's maybe mildly appalling that you're calling me the bad guy when all I want to see is Sonny Hill responsible for trying to knock me off? Wait, did I actually use the phrase bad guy? Because that's appalling on so many levels. A limited vocabulary. You know, it's a pathetic cliche, and it just opens up the door for you to wallow in self-pity. Oh, I'm wallowing now. Yeah, it's a terrible habit, mate, and it's getting worse. I'm, I think I'm going to have to stage an intervention. <laughs> You know, if I had died that night, you would have been out of a job. You didn't die. Right. <laughs> All right, well, so much for that truce. Truce? What truce? I haven't gone after Sonny. Have you seen me touch him? No, but you keep hating on him, man. It's only a matter of time. Wow. Your sympathy is staggering. Really? All right, let's review, shall we? You're sitting on most of your father's ill-gotten gain and most of his territory. And he's conveniently locked away for life, so he can't aggravate you. You have a luxury penthouse, a gorgeous girlfriend, and you've cheated certain death at least three times in the past year alone. What exactly do you have to complain about? I mean, it wouldn't cost you anything to keep your bloody mouth shut so Christina can go on believing her father didn't try to kill her. Hi, can I have a muffin and coffee to go? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, I hope your costume has special powers. <laughs> Somebody turn your baby into a lamb. She's cute. Yeah, I think so. Hi. Hey, then how's uh, Luke? Oh, uh, you know my dad. Nothing keeps him down for long. Yeah, I'll, I'll check on him tomorrow, make sure he's behaving himself. Bye. Bye. Hey, Michael. Hey. So, uh, no more trick-or-treating for you? Uh, no, I've outgrown that. <laughs> well, someday I will dig out the pictures of when I dressed you up as a little pumpkin just to embarrass you. Oh, uh, actually, can I pay you to burn those instead? No, never. All Sorry. right. Well, happy Halloween. Oh, uh, you too. See ya. <laughs> hey, you forgot your coffee. Oh. Be right back, sweetie. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> got it. Thank you. 